Iger, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Good Thursday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN just after it is 9 a.m. I'm used to coming in at 9.06. S&P is positive yet again. And look at that acceleration on the charts from yesterday. You're talking about a move of almost 90 points to the downside. We make it to 47.34. You catch a little bit of a bid on the jobless claims number. Some economic data this morning. We're sitting at 47.84. All things considered, what, basically where we started off the week? There's the action in terms of 47.84, and boy, it was quite a sell-off yesterday. I was listening to my dad show, of course, in the afternoon. 2.30, things really began to escalate. Those are 15-minute bars. By the time you were at 3 o'clock, we were sitting at 47.75. Now, on a Fibonacci basis, yeah, we're bumping up against the 50% line, depending on where you're placing this line, maybe a little bit near the body, and you're sitting basically at the 50% of that move yesterday. NASDAQ 100 surging higher on that number. Yeah, that's sitting right at about the 50%. And look at that. Sitting at the 618. You drive higher above the 50%. NASDAQ 100 above 17,000 yesterday, down to almost 16,750. We're trading right near 16,950 this morning. Dow up 222 points. And how about the Russell? Up 1.1%. Bitcoin pushing yesterday's high, almost 45,000 for Bitcoin. Crude. Backing off a bit, we hit $75 on Wednesday. We've given up more than $2 from there at $73.18. You jump around to notes and bonds, and what do we have? We have higher price and lower yield coming at you, folks. Look at this move. Seems like we're on our way to, what, 160 and a half? The spike high there on May 4th, 117 on the dot. Our man Basil Chapman saw him in the den earlier. He had an outstanding webinar for the opening call last night. If you didn't check it out, you on the front page of TFNN. Check that out. You can get the archive, which will be up there today. Um, round numbers, right? From 117 down to 105.10. Seems like that's where we're at as we get higher price across the board on that 10-year. And let's jump over to those economic numbers as we come into this 930 open. It'll be interesting. 115,000 was the estimate. It comes in at 205,000 first-time filings. You take a look at where we are, though. Still some pretty decent numbers in terms of it's a low number. They're looking for 215. It comes in at 205. The average, about 212,000 initial jobless claims. Market seems to like it. Stay tuned, folks. We're coming back. We'll be back in three minutes with the morning market kickoff. Don't move it.